Hello everybody, this is Alexey Kavazin, president of Firebird Foundation. And today I would like to present you results of Firebird 5 performance tests. These tests are very interesting and they will show how much Firebird 5 has improved its performance. Let's see. In order to compare performance of Firebird 5 with other versions of Firebird, with previous versions of Firebird, uh, we have done three tests. Simple insert update delete test, TPCC like test, and real world test uh, for the specific customer to estimate the benefits of migration to Firebird 5. So let's see all these tests. The first test we have used to estimate, to measure the Firebird 5 performance is simple insert update delete test. Uh, this is one thread test, single threaded test, which uh, is pretty well known. We have a big collection of test results. Uh, it is available in the link for this video and also in the presentation in the link on the, uh, this slide. So there you can find the results for many um, computers, many servers with various configurations. Essentially, this test, this test is really simple. It creates a database, creates table, and after that insert 1 million record, commit, uh, update 1 million record, commit, and delete 1 rec million record, and commit. The resulted database is 3.6 gigabytes. Essentially, this test generates a lot of write load initially, especially initially in the insert phase. After that, it generates read and write uh, load, I.O., because when you are doing update, you are reading the record first, and after that, you are updating it. And also, uh, during the delete phase, it generates a lot of uh, reads and writes. Uh, how we usually interpret the test results? Uh, first of all, this test is a conservative test. It um, represents a lower bound of the performance. It means that if there will be some really high performance system with very fast disks, with the stop CPU, this test probably will show results lower than the actual user's actual performance would be. Uh, so we usually use this test to, uh, to, make, to make the diagnosis, to uh, check how good or not good uh, the hardware or virtual machine. So if you see a high uh, scorer, it means that uh, real score, scorer, real result, performed result could be even higher when it uh, show it by the tests. For example, if you compare two systems and one system has really good disks and other has uh, excellent disks, even better than the first one, it means and it's, uh, it is possible that the test will show like equal results for uh, for these two systems. But if uh, there will be the bad disk, bad CPU, or any I/O problem with virtual machine, some settings, and so on, uh, we will see it with this test. So, what we have tested? We have two test machines. One is 32 gigabytes Xeon, uh, 3.6 gigahertz frequency, eight cores, and SSD SATA Samsung. And another is Core i5, six cores, 32 gigabytes, uh, also 32 gigabytes of RAM and SSD Intel. Both run on Windows 10. We have tested four versions of of Firebird, Firebird 5 Super Server, Firebird 4 Super Server, Firebird 3 Super Server, and 2.5 Super Classic. Uh, why we have tested Super Classic? Uh, 
Yes, so since this test is single threaded, we could potentially test super server and uh, be more or less aligned in terms of architecture. Right, but practically uh, the people are using super classic or classic on our uh, 2.5 version because super server and 2.5 uh, does not have ability to use configurations with many cores. So it means that we decided to compare what is practically being used by majority of customers. Uh, and let's see what, what we have. Well, in terms of page buffers, they are pretty obvious, as you can see on the slide. Take a look on uh, the tables of test results for the ONF Core, respectively. For better representation, I have put them into the graphs. And here you can see that uh, five really takes, uh, really shows the uh, improvement from all previous versions, especially from Firebird 2.5 in these single threaded tests. Uh, you can see that the difference between Firebird 4 and Firebird 5 could be not so big, like several 5%, maybe 10% on, uh, on the different configurations. Uh, probably it's, uh, this is true. However, it is really important to see that in the single threaded test, the very basic performance of inserts, updates and deletes is being improved over the versions from 3 to 4 and to 5. And not saying nothing about 2.5, which is really far behind uh, the bar of the modern Firebird systems. But unfortunately, according to our recent research, up to 40% of Firebird users still use 2.5. And of course, this is a bad situation which should be improved with the migration to Firebird 5. So we can summarize for simple insert update uh, delete test that performance for the single thread operations gradually increases for all Firebird version due to optimizations in caching, internal processing, and I.O. optimization. It just becomes better on the, for the basic operations. Uh, we also can see that the result of 2.5 Super Classic is low. Yes, as I said, we could use Super Server and potentially improve a bit the result of these specific tests, but since the uh, real users use Super Classic or Classic, uh, better perform the test in the practical uh, from the practical point of view. So starting with the single thread test, we can see what Firebird 5 has improved. It, be it became faster. But how fast it will be uh, for the multi-user environment, which is mostly interested for uh, for the majority of users of Firebird users. So we have run the TPCC-like test, uh, which generates 64 parallel connections, which perform um, like, you know, typical for any order, order line, product, uh, database schema. Uh, and they create orders, modify orders, and do some selects. Uh, these queries are really fast, really optimized, uh, and uh, the idea of the test is to uh, make the biggest possible load to the system, to the server. So we have run it on the 8 core server, and results are really interesting. As you can see in the 
multi-user tests with the 64 of parallel simultaneous queries, Fibert 5 has shown significant improvement of performance. And it is really noticeable even with Fibert 4. It is more noticeable <laughs> with Fibert 3. And the Fibert 2.5, the Fibert 5 has shown the four times improvement for the multi-user environment. So the TPCC like test is interesting because uh, it shows the scalability and uh, oh, in simple words, ability to use powerful server. When you are investing a lot of money into the CPU and uh, at, at some moment you uh, see that CPU is overloaded or system does not run as fast as you expected after investing this uh, significant amount of money into the hardware or virtual machines. And really simple way to improve this utilization and to make more performance from the same investment is to migrate. Migrate to Fibre 5. TPCC like test uh, is really good for utilization. It shows, it confirms that Fibre 5 scales better than Fibre 4. Of course, better than Fibre 3 and even better, up to four times, times better than Fibre 2.5. So, also pretty good results as, as for me. The third test uh, was made in the real world environment of the uh, of some large customer. The customer is on the NDA, so I cannot disclose uh, the name. But the idea of the test is the following. On some database, there are necessity to execute in parallel uh, many um, queries which request from the database a lot of data like data for the month sales or month operations uh, join them with some other um, tables order them and return in some uh, in some order for further processing and uh, the problem was that when we have more and more parallel executions of the same operations with the one really big table or big table and combination of uh, several tables, uh, the Fibre demonstrated performance degradation. In order to demonstrate this degradation, we have run uh, the sample query in eight groups increasing the number of parallel executions from 4 to 32. And uh, let's see how it was here on the graph. You can see uh, the dots. Each dot represents the query result. You can see that these dots are grouped into some uh, clouds or lines uh, the, third, the first group uh, consists of four queries. Uh, on the seconds here, uh, we can see the time in seconds for each query. It means that there are four queries and uh, how, they, how long they executed. So you can see what for classic version 4, the blue one, uh, uh, four queries executed like six, six seconds. And for super server, Fibre 4, the queries uh, executed like four seconds. So it's fa it was fast. However, when we are increasing the number of parallel executions, you can see we have the difference with, between the classic uh, and super server in Fibre 4, 
became less and less uh, and after 32 executions classic starts to uh, starts to lead it uh, shows better performance in parallel executions when the super server and uh, you can see but also there are some you know stairs pretty noticeable but difference between uh, four parallel executions from uh, became from six seconds became 12 seconds so it became really really bad no not bad but very noticeable uh, and since this customer is large and there was some like 100 parallel executions and more the degradation could be really really noticeable but in 5.5 .5, uh, we can see the real positive difference you can see but first of all in general 5.5 .5 performs exactly the same query with exactly the same plan uh, like uh, three four times faster you can see but there is no difference between super server and uh, classic in 5.5 .5. they are executing uh, queries in the with the same speed without noticeable performance degradation and also you can see with the angle for these stairs is really low so we start with four parallel executions with something like 1.8 seconds per query and it became like three seconds with 32 parallel executions and uh, uh, it means but for this specific load even between 5.4 and between 5.5 .5, there is really big positive difference and in the real number of parallel executions the difference is actually becomes let's say huge because degradation in 5.4 was from 4 seconds to 12 seconds in 5.5 uh, from 1.8 to 3 something it is you know really noticeable on the graph to finalize my presentation I would like to tell you tell you the following first of all the 5.5 .5 has demonstrated uh, improvements in all tests we done in some tests it was up to four times faster than 2.5 it demonstrated improvement in single threaded and multi-threaded tests and uh, in real world there are real queries which will start to work four times faster simply by the migration to 5.5 .5. usually of course we can see the less uh, less noticeable improvement like 30 percent of overall performance of course it is possible that some queries will catch the wrong plan and they could be uh, not so fast as they were on the previous version and they will require some intervention to improve them but in general the 5.5 .5 is much faster is noticeably faster in all usage scenarios and it is really time to time to migrate and uh, now I have a question uh, for the for the audience for you what are you waiting for please listen to the this Nickelback song specially written for this case actually for all cases like this and uh, go ahead and perform the migration to 5.5 .5. in order to help to help you with the migrations in the my next video I will do uh, the explanation of the fastest possible track uh, to migrate to 5.5 .5. and also I will present the five biggest problems during the migration of the uh, database structure
Stay tuned. <laughs>